I wish I had a better answer on that one. I really do. What sector of real estate do you think will be most volatile in the short term? What sector of real estate do I think will be most volatile in the short term? I think the biggest question um, in the short term is office space. Return to office and and what uh, COVID did with remote work. Um, I'll say you're a little, I'll share you a little insight with my my personal experience. So my my mom um, has worked from home for for years for decades really to be honest with you, on and off for decades. She she works from she works in technology so it's a little bit different for her to be able to do that. And she's a good worker. She's a hard worker at home. It's one of the one of the people that taught me what it means to work hard. And so. Um, I don't think necessarily remote work is bad, but for real estate, right? You've got companies that uh, pay for office space. We're seeing all the layoffs. We're seeing the um, companies not renewing leases or breaking leases and willing to pay the penalty for it uh, across the nation right now. So back to office is going to be a big question. And I think um, as um, the financial sector, particularly as just the economy in general starts to shake out and let's see where it lands. Cause there's a lag effect, right? There's a lag effect to the moves the feds making and how that affects the markets. And so if like, let's assume a six month lag, okay, where are we going to be at six months from now? That's very difficult to predict. Um, will employees still have the major leverage over employers? And that has to do with the supply and demand. Again, the most basic principle of economics of, okay, how many jobs are available in the market? as compared to employees, potential employees, laborers in the marketplace. And so if the trend continues of there being so many jobs available as compared to employees and potential workers, i.e. a limitation of supply of workers, of laborers, then they will continue to have the control in the scenario and employers will have to continue to pivot and make um, some unprecedented, never before thought to have had to make moves. And so what will those moves be? We'll see. So I think I think office is the biggest one. The second from an investment perspective are short-term rentals. Um, two main reasons. Number one is, will people continue to travel? Will pocketbooks be so wide open and people be willing to spend dollars on traveling throughout the, the year and into even, let's call it next year, because again, you've got to have more of a long-term outlook on short-term rentals. And so that will be a big question of, are people over leveraged on the investment properties they bought as short-term rentals? Big question. The second piece of it is regulation. If you bought a rental property within an HOA, within an association, and we talked with Jim Slaughter previously about HOAs, and the ability of an HOA to limit someone's uh, someone's uh, rights and ability to keep that property as an investment property and allow for short-term rentals, you could be in a world of hurt. And you may have to pivot. You may have to pin it to a long-term rental instead. Um, it could get even more drastic than that, depending on the associations that say, okay, we're going to limit rentals in general and want primary residences. We don't want to allow rentals. I think we will see some lawsuits. I think we will definitely see some case law. Um, and that be, will be some question because if you bought a property at one point when there wasn't a rule in place, but then a rule subsequently came about later, that's ripe for a lawsuit. And then there's probably some some precedent on the books in some way, shape or form, but have the courts shifted at all to where they will take up the question again if they have already previously heard the question is an entirely different matter. And that's going to depend on your individual district. And uh, that's why I, uh, I follow the advice of my grandpa, vote early, vote often. So, <laughs> cause it makes a difference. And yeah, we do vote for judges. So uh, keep that in mind as well at the local level, right? At the local level, I think local levels are what drive markets. 